Cleopatra was the last pharaoh of ancient Egypt. Hi and welcome to my next video. Today I'm talking about the beauty history of Cleopatra and ancient Egypt. Don't forget to leave me a comment below letting me know what era or person you would like me to talk about next. I hope you guys can enjoy this video. Let's get started. Cleopatra is known to be one of the most beautiful women to ever live. Reports of her stunning beauty are written in the seams of history. However, she did have some help using ingredients that were available in her time to help her achieve a flawless complexion and beautiful soft skin. One of her many beauty secrets was taking a milk bath with honey and almond oil. This kept her skin looking fresh, supple, and soft in the harsh weather of ancient Egypt. You can make this into a face mask using coconut milk, honey, or maple syrup, as well as almond oil. And if you don't have almond oil, you can use olive oil since they're both very similar. I find coconut milk to be more fatty than dairy milk. Coconut milk is packed with vitamins like vitamin C, E, the B vitamin, as well as iron, calcium, selenium, magnesium, and phosphorus. Coconut milk contains a wonderful concentration of lauric acid. Lauric acid is a fatty acid that helps to keep the skin plump and youthful. I don't really use raw honey anymore, so in place of raw honey, you can use maple syrup. There are many benefits to using maple syrup on the skin. Raw honey and maple syrup have similar benefits to the skin. Similarly to raw honey, maple syrup has antioxidant properties that can help to combat redness, wrinkles, as well as dry skin. I don't really use raw honey anymore. I do have some old bottles of it that I've had forever. You can also use maple syrup. Raw honey antioxidants are also natural anti-agers. When applied to the skin, can help to fight free radical damage. Free radicals is something that can accelerate aging. You can use a face mask using full fat coconut milk, raw honey, or maple syrup as well as almond oil, olive oil, depending on which one you have. This face mask can leave your skin glowing, supple, soft, and beautiful like Cleopatra. Almond oil is high in vitamin E. It's a nutrient that's wonderful for the skin. Almond oil is a natural skin softening ingredient that I love to use in many DIYs. Cleopatra was also known to use rose water on her skin to keep her skin soft and glowing, as well as adding the beautiful sexy scent of roses. Rose water helps to balance the skin's natural pH and also controls excess oil on the skin. It has anti-inflammatory properties, which may help red or irritated skin, as well as help to calm eczema. It also helps to combat uneven blotchiness on the skin, as well as acne. Rose water naturally hydrates and plumps the skin with its soothing properties, such as vitamin A, C, E, and B3. It also has antibacterial properties. It may have helped the ancient Egyptians to fight off acne, since they would have been living in a very hot climate. Egyptian cosmetics are nearly as old as the civilization. Everyone in ancient Egypt, including men, regularly used makeup. Wearing makeup was a common everyday occurrence. Women, as famously worn by Cleopatra, wore black coal to line her eyes. Another eyeliner variation was to use ground malachite, I believe it's pronounced malachite. In ancient Egypt, painting the eyes green was a general practice for men and women, no matter what their status was in ancient Egypt. To shadow the eyes, ancient Egypts would paint their eyes with a mixture of ground serpentine, I think I'm pronouncing that right. It's another green mineral. They mixed it with water to apply it to the eyes. To paint their lips, women would combine animal fat and red orc, I believe I'm pronouncing that right, to create a cosmetic coating. They even used henna to dye their lips, which would give them a lip color very similar to the one I'm wearing now. They wore the makeup around their eyes to protect them from eye infections in the harsh climate of ancient Egypt. The black eyeliner around their eyes was also for more than beauty. It served as a way to protect the eyes from the harsh rays of the sun. The black eyeliner was mixed with animal fat so that it would spread easily over the eyelids. In ancient Egypt, linen was most commonly worn. It helped to keep them comfortable and cool in the warm climate. They made linen out of the flax plant by spinning, weaving, and sewing it together to create a robe like attire. Similar to what I have on right now, Cleopatra's attire changed depending on where she was. In Egypt, Cleopatra wore the traditional attire of Egyptians. This would have been either a linen robe or a skirt with heaps of expensive jewelry. She often wore a golden snake around her upper arm. In Rome, she would have worn a colorful toga from materials such as cotton or even Chinese silk, often with a belt worn tightly below the bust. For footwear, she would have worn sandals decorated with jewelry. Wigs were often worn by both men and women, and they were made of human hair. Throughout the different eras of ancient Egypt, hairstyles changed from shaving the head 
to wearing wigs, to letting hair grow to about shoulder length. The Egyptian queen's hair was very important to show her power. She shaved her head just as many women in ancient Egypt did at the time. She wore wigs made of human hair to prevent lice and to help keep clean. Her hair color of the wig was black, with the style of the time of many braids framing the face. Cleopatra wore a few different hairstyles for different occasions. Her most famous hairstyle she wore in her home of ancient Egypt. This was the style of the traditional Egyptian ruler. Cleopatra often wore a golden cobra around her crown as a sign of fame and power. Each hairstyle she wore was to convey a message of power. Cleopatra was the last pharaoh of ancient Egypt. She had many enemies since birth. People wanted to manipulate or even murder her for political gain. But she held her own in power and even had her own younger brother murder to gain power. She was the lover of Julius Caesar and Mark Anthony. After the loss of a major battle, Mark Anthony committed suicide by stabbing himself with a sword. Soon after, Cleopatra killed herself by allowing a poisonous snake to bite her. Cleopatra's breathtaking beauty has survived many centuries, and she is still a well-known figure throughout the world. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to give a big thumbs up if you would like to see more videos in this beauty series. Don't forget to like and subscribe and comment below who you'd like to see next. I love you guys so much, and I hope I see you again next Sunday. I love you guys. Bye! Look at me. <laughs> I am a queen of the Nile. This is making my head hot, so I'm just gonna take it off. I got to wear my hair in a ponytail at the back of my head because the bun at the back was just too much for the wig. <laughs>